What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I am your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started today, I would love to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. Hey, <laughs> how y'all doing? Hi, Chief. Doing good. How are you? Oh, man. I, we, we got another day of Chief Chat. Of course, I'm doing wonderful. It's a great was, day, that's for sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So today we have an outstanding guest uh, that shares a real common bond with me. Um, like me, he started his, his, his military career in the Marine Corps. So a uh, big hurrah, hurrah to uh, the devil dog that we got uh, ready to give us some great information. So uh, without further ado, Julie, do you mind uh, introducing today's guest? Hey, you got it, Chief. We are thrilled to have today's guest with us. He has a 34-year legacy of service to our nation. And as you mentioned, Chief, he served in the Marine Corps, as well as the North Carolina National Guard and Army Reserve, where he retired as a colonel. Now he's serving as National Commander of the American Legion, the nation's largest wartime veteran service organization. Please join me in giving him a big Chief Chat welcome. This is Commander Bill Oxford. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Commander Oxford, thanks so much for taking time out to join us. We really appreciate it. And for everybody watching, let us know where you're tuning in from in the comments. And also, if you have any questions for the commander, we'll be reading those live throughout the broadcast. Now is a good time to start a watch party if you want to enjoy this interview with your friends. And if you're not already following us on Chief Chat, you should because Chief Chat's every Tuesday and Thursday. We have great guests lined up, so you should follow us. Awesome, awesome. So thank you so much for joining us today, uh, Commander Oxford. Uh, it, it's great to have you with us. Thank you, Chief. It's an honor and privilege to be here and represent the uh, two million uh, member Legion family. Uh, it's just a tremendous honor to be invited. Thank you for the opportunity. Awesome, awesome. So where are you calling us from today? Well, I, I'm, I'm at home in North Carolina. I live, uh, live in a little town called Lenore. It's, uh, it's 300 miles from the coast, right at the base of the mountains, uh, just a small country town. But uh, just, uh, I've, awesome. I've been grounded since the middle of uh, March. So I'm uh, staying pretty much close to home because of the COVID virus. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're glad you're staying safe, Bill. What can you tell us about your military career and what led you to a life of service? Well, thanks, Julie. Uh, first of all, before I get into that, I'd like to uh, like to say a special uh, uh, message of support and prayers for the people of Louisiana and Texas and California because of those natural disasters that we're facing. Uh, the, the American Legion stands ready to provide relief and support uh, to those families and, and folks uh, seriously impacted by Hurricane Laura and also the wildfires in California. But uh, we're, we're, we're ready and willing and able to provide relief and support to those folks who have been affected. But uh, I, my military career, I started, uh, like the chief uh, mentioned, I, I joined the Marine Corps in March of 1967. I did my tour in the Corps. Uh, I was an aviation electronics technician on the A-6 intruder. I did my tour in Vietnam. I got home from, uh, from Vietnam and uh, took, took my discharge from the Corps. But uh, I missed that. I miss, missed the military comradeship, the, the familyness, the discipline. So I, uh, I ended up uh, shortly after that, joined the North Carolina National Guard and uh, ended up uh, with a 34 year career. And uh, I, did, uh, I did retire uh, after 34 years as an 06. But it was, uh, I, knew, I knew from an early age I was supposed to be a soldier. So it was just uh, one of those things that was a, a natural thing for me. I just, uh, I was always a military minded person, even, even as a young kid. But uh, that's, that's sort of uh, where, where I am and how I got to this point in my life. When you know, you know, right? You just, you know it in your gut. <laughs> but when you know, you know. And I knew, I knew from early age I was supposed to be a soldier. That's awesome. Well, awesome. Thank you Bill, thank service. you so. Yep, exactly. Thank you for your service and welcome home. I know you said you served during Vietnam, and uh, Vietnam veterans weren't always properly welcomed back. So, thank you and welcome home. Well, thank you. It's uh, yeah, it's funny you should mention that. Uh, when when I got back from Vietnam, I was not treated very well, and 
because of that, that's sort of why I do what I do in the Indian American Legion. Uh, I, I, uh, I made a commitment that I would make sure any of our soldiers who served this country in today's day and age were, are not treated as poorly as I was. So if uh, we can if we can make sure that treatment is fair and just and respectful, uh, we, we'll, we'll accomplish part of my goals with the American Legion. Wow, thank you. So tell us about the American Legion. What's your mission? Who do you serve? And what resources do you offer? Well, I'm sure everybody knows the American Legion is uh, is the country's largest veteran service organization. Uh, we're we're over over about two million strong, uh, over three million strong if we consider the entire American Legion family. Uh, that's the American Legion. That's the sons of the American Legion. That's the auxiliary. Uh, and and by the way, our auxiliary uh, just recently opened up a membership to male spouses of female veterans so that's a that's a big plus for who we are and what we do and and the mission we serve uh, our mission uh, we we operate on four basic principles or, and we call them the four pillars of the american legion uh, first of all uh, we believe in a strong american america uh, promoting americanism a strong patriotic country uh, we support a strong national defense because uh, we believe that a strong national defense is essential uh, to the survival of this nation. Uh, we also uh, put a major point of emphasis on a veterans affairs and rehab uh, uh, pillar that's taking care of America's veterans. Uh, we, we try to stay in close contact with, uh, with the Veterans Administration, uh, the White House, Congress, and all of those folks who are involved with uh, taking care of veterans. That's just uh, who we are and what we do. And finally, our children and youth programs, uh, our children and youth programs are, are involved with training, educating, and showing uh, our children and youth and young people in this country what America is about and uh, the, the things that we need to, to turn over to them because they will be our, our next generation of leaders. So our children and youth program train, educate, and teach those young people in the, in the way the country uh, should be uh, operated. And that's a little bit about who we are and what we do and, and uh, what, our, uh, what our goals and objectives are. That's awesome, awesome. And that, that's kind of like the definition of paying it forward. So we, we thank you and your organization for paying it forward. Even the story that you, you mentioned about uh, coming home from Vietnam and not being treated that well. Uh, the fact that you were like, you know what, I, I want to make it better for the future. And so that's, that's an awesome, awesome story. So, so can you, can you tell our viewers about the benefits of American uh, Legion membership and how can they join? Well, uh, if you're interested in joining the American Legion, and let, let me say this, I would encourage every veteran, every veteran, uh, even the folks on active duty, join a veteran service organization. Uh, I'd, I'd love to have you become a member of the American Legion, but if that doesn't work, find a veteran service organization and become part of it. Because those people, the American Legion and the others are looking out for you and your benefits. We are your biggest advocate. We're your loudest voice when it comes to maintaining the rights and benefits that you've earned. So if We'd love to have you part of the American Legion. You can, you can contact any local American Legion post, and there are posts all over the world. Uh, you can find us at legion.org or uh, contact your local Legion post. That's the best place to start. So start locally. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, you are... Uh... <laughs> You were elected. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, we, we've got uh, almost 13,000 Legion posts across the country in, in all 50 states and, and other outside countries like, uh, like Germany, like France, like Mexico, like the Philippines, like, like Taiwan. Uh, we do have those uh, Legion posts across the world and in every state, in every department. So uh, if you have trouble uh, finding a local Legion post, uh, you can go to legion.org. That's our national website and uh, find out about us and our program and who and where and how to contact somebody if you're interested in becoming a Legionnaire. So with more than 13,000 local posts, surely there's a legion for you somewhere it kind of yeah, sounds yeah. sounds like there's a, a location to help somewhere so sure. you and you're the national commander you were elected the national commander last year at your national convention in indianapolis 2020 man it's been a rough year so far um 
How has the pandemic affected the American Legion and veterans in general? Well, it's it's funny that you mentioned our national convention. That was that was uh, in 2019 in August in Indianapolis, and uh, I was elected. The term for this office is normally one year, but with the uh, with the pandemic and the epidemic uh, causing things to happen the way they have, uh, the American Legion has uh, unfortunately canceled our national convention this year. And uh, I will be holding the office of national commander for one more year because of the COVID virus, because of the the uh, the isolation and separations and different things that we've been uh, been forced to do. Uh, but uh, we have uh, we have continued to maintain the activities that we were able to. Uh, we still uh, conduct blood drives. We still conduct food drives. We still uh, work on supply relief centers. Uh, we we donate and uh, collect face masks and gloves to relief workers. Uh, we we still maintain all of those activities as well as we can while maintaining the social distancing and isolation that uh, that is uh, that's almost required by the uh, COVID-19 virus. One of the things that we've uh, we started this process last year a a an operation called Buddy Check, and the Buddy Check was just a way. And if we go back to the to the World Wars, uh, there was always a battle buddy you were concerned about. Somebody that was on your team had your back. So uh, we we instituted the Buddy Check program uh, to to have Legionnaires contact other Legionnaires that they might be concerned about. To, uh, to check up on them, to find out if, they're, if they are okay, is there anything they need? And our buddy check program has worked just really well across the country. Uh, we've, we've found and been able to, to, to do things like uh, make, a, make a prescription run if somebody needed, the, needed medicine they were not able to get to. We've made grocery runs. We've made uh, transportation uh, moves. Uh, we've, in, in one case, and I love this example, uh, we had a legionnaire and uh, he couldn't get out. So another legionnaire went to his house and moved his garbage cans from the street back to his home. Oh man, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's, that's just some of the things that we've been able to do uh, as, we, uh, as we continue to use our buddy checks and, and check up on our, our fellow veterans and uh, the other legionnaires that we know about. But it's just a way and that's who we are and what we do. We're just uh, constantly uh, worrying about checking on and trying to maintain the, the quality of life for, uh, for veterans around the country. Yeah, that, that, that's awesome. Uh, Cause even with the COVID-19, we, we use the term social distance, but it's more like physical distancing instead of socially distancing. Yeah. Cause you still need to check on your folks and, and, and be social with your folks. So we just, just because of a pandemic, we don't want you to not, not check on people and not talk to people. So um, that's why I, I try to use the word physical distance instead of social distance. Well, it's uh, it's uh, it's isolating from each other, and that's a uh, that's a a term that we're just going to have to get used to. I'm afraid. So, uh, so uh, you've been involved with the uh, American Legion uh, for a long time on on all kind of different levels. Uh, what caused you to, to give back in this way? Like, what what was your your reason to? And I think you've already kind of explained it uh, to us about why it is you chose to give back in this way, and uh, what what are your goals for the American Legion? Well, uh, Chief, let me give you another example, and and this this is just a just a, a short explanation. Uh, before the first Gulf War, uh, I was in the I was in the North Carolina National Guard, and I had been the company commander of a truck company, but uh, I, through, through, for whatever time and, and promotion, I, I had left that job as company commander. But the truck company that I had been commander of was, was uh, mobilized and deployed and went to the Gulf. And I'll, I'll have to tell you, that's the hardest thing I've ever done is send those guys that I had, I had recruited, I had trained, I had taught, I had supped with. Uh, but to see those guys go to war without me yeah it was tough it was the hardest thing i've ever had to do because with with all of the the rumors about wmds and, and those things uh i really felt 
that not all of them would come home. But uh, fortunately, they did. But I will, uh, I will admit, uh, we we organized a parade for those guys beyond belief. Yeah, and, uh, it was really a, uh, it 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 really uh, get led, made me feel better about uh, who I am and what I do and, and being part of the American Legion. We're here to support uh, our military uh, troops and, and folks. So uh, being able to do that, just uh, that's, that's what I'm about is uh, giving back and making sure those uh, military people who support this country and put their lives on the line to protect and, and give us what we have that we give back and we recognize them and, and the, the commitment that they have. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's amazing the emotional connection that you have with, uh, with, with people that you probably would ne never have met or, or ever, you know, come across at any point in your life. Uh, the military brings us all together from all these uh, different walks of life. And, and we build this, this like rapport and relationship with each other, like we're brothers and we're family. And, and it's awesome. Uh, brothers, sisters in arms, family. It's just, it's just an awesome feeling to be able to to connect with people on that on that level when in such a short amount of time some people you meet, maybe meet for six months or a year or just depending on your tour so it's just it's just amazing how uh that can inspire you to to want to do more and so thank you for that well, the, the the brotherhood never goes away so it's just uh, something that uh, i'm extremely uh, honored to be part of uh, let's see you ask about the goals uh, for the for my goals for the american legion well Obviously, we want to grow the organization and uh, make sure the public and uh, the civilians around us know who we are and what we do, and we are here to serve. Uh, we don't uh, always uh, have the opportunity to tell our story as well as we could or should, and that's why I'm appreciative of you and, and uh, AFES today for giving us this opportunity. Uh, the American Legion, uh, we're here to serve. Uh, we are interested in promoting uh, Americanism, a strong national defense, uh, veterans of fires and rehab, and our children and youth programs. And uh, if I can, I, just a, a few things about our children and youth programs. Uh, we operate some of the best uh, youth programs in the country, uh, including things like Boys and Girls State, uh, American Legion Baseball, Junior Shooting Sports, our oratorical contest. Uh, we literally award millions of dollars each year in scholarships uh, to these young people. Uh, American Legion Baseball, last year we had over 55,000 young baseball players on the field. At uh, Boys, Boys States uh, across the country, we had over 18,000 delegates. And our Boys State uh, and Girls State uh, 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 graduates, uh, they occupy major points of importance across the country. Uh, we've had presidents. Uh, Bill Clinton was a graduate of Arkansas Boys State. We've had governors, senators, uh, uh, and the list goes on and on. Uh, just a tremendous uh, opportunity for young people to learn about how government operates. And uh, they, they continually come back and tell us how much they appreciate the opportunities and the education that uh, Boys and Girls State give. But uh, that's, that's sort of a, a little bit about the American Legion. We, we want to grow, continue to grow, but uh, make sure the, the public and, and veterans around the around the world understand that we are here to serve and uh, we want to help let us man yeah yeah you guys are hitting every everything that you can hit so i, I we appreciate that um so uh earlier this year the exchange was honored to uh, provide a new benefit for veterans uh all veterans with service connected disabilities were welcome back to the exchange for in-store shopping privileges in your view how has that new benefit been received by the veteran community well, uh, as you know, uh, not not all uh, veterans are retirees, and uh, some could not use the exchange. But the the service connected disability um, it made and recognized and honored the additional sacrifice that those veterans made. I think it uh, it's a merit, merited benefit. Uh, we've always advocated for a strong uh, military exchange, and uh, this benefit just makes it stronger. Uh, fortunately, as a retiree, I've been a, a, a retiree, uh, a APHIS uh, customer for many years. So just thank you for that opportunity. But I think when we look about uh, as a new benefit for uh, the service connected disabilities, it is welcomed and we want to thank you for that. Still, it is our pleasure and we are honored to count you among those who shop with us and make the benefit stronger for all who serve. 
thank you very much for your support. That really means a lot to us. And what I really liked learning today was about basically the whole holistic community support that American Legion provides, including all those youth programs that you mentioned. That's that's fantastic. Um, are you still able to keep up with those? Does, even though the pandemic's going on, is there still baseball going on in the, the scholarship programs and stuff? Well, uh, not not exactly, but sort of. Uh, we've, had, <laughs> okay. we've had to cancel, we've had to cancel uh, many department boys state program. Uh, we canceled the the national boys nation program, but uh, there there have been some isolated uh, programs around the country that that is still playing baseball. Uh, we canceled uh, we canceled the Legion program and we canceled the World Series. And those things is because of the COVID nineteen wow. virus. Uh, we did uh, and was able uh, to successfully complete a boys state program in Texas uh, uh, by teleconference and it worked out tremendously well. I just had great uh, great uh, comments from everybody involved. But uh, with the isolation and, and social distancing that we've talked about, uh, we have had to cancel uh, many of those programs, but it was strictly absolutely for the safety of the participants. We didn't want to, uh, to uh, endanger anybody's safety or their life. Uh, and those things are far more important than mass gatherings. <laughs> Good. Bill, we just want to take a minute to pause and check out the live feed and the, the comments or questions that may be coming in. Um, we have someone watching saying happy Thursday from North Pole, Alaska. I believe Lourdes, did I say your name right? Katie says happy Thursday, everyone. Is that chief? Is that your wife, Katie? No. Or a relative. Their last name is Ozzy. Oh, KD? So. Uh -huh, oh yeah, KD. yeah, 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 yeah. No, it, mm -hmm. it's an initials. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. hello, Mrs. Osby. Yeah, Hurricane, hey, Katr Hurricane Katrina. Is where oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's watching from Oklahoma, um, Tucson, Arizona. And Steve says, great job, Commander. Thank you. Awesome. So, uh, before we go, where can the veterans find information about American Legion and all the resources you have available to them? Well, the best place to start is a local post. Uh, they might not be there all of the time, but if you'll, uh, if you'll call and leave a message, I'm sure somebody will get back to you. They can talk about local events, their local activities, their local, uh, uh, it, their local, their local post. But uh, if you can't find out locally, uh, there's a national website, legion.org. It, it talks about all of the phone numbers, all of the contacts, emails. It gives you information about membership, rights, benefits, and uh, the, the things that you can gain from that. But it also talks about all of the Legion programs and uh, gives you uh, information about, uh, about the boys' state, girls' state, uh, baseball, oratorical contest, junior shooting. All of those programs, uh, our information is available and somebody would be happy to, uh, to answer a call or an email if you have a question about any of those. If you're interested in Legion membership, if you are an, a veteran who, who has been on active duty for at least one day with an honorable discharge since December the 7th, 1941, you're eligible for American Legion membership. Would be loved, would just love to have you uh, come and become part of us, the comradeship, the, the buddyship, the relationships that we have on the American Legion is uh, it's it's just like being on active duty. We wanna we want you to be part of us. Love to invite every every veteran uh, to to become part of the American Legion. Are you all on social media as well? Absolutely, Facebook, Twitter. We 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 love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so look up uh, search American yeah, Legion on on any any social media platform, and they got you. Check me out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got it. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great way to stay connected during this time of social and physical distancing. So great. We will definitely check you out on social. <laughs> great. And I, and our PR media folks, uh, they do a great job. Uh, there's a daily update, uh, a, a blog about the American Legion that we just try to keep everybody involved and and up to date on the things that's going on and the issues facing us and and the process that we're making. Well, Commander Oxford, we really appreciate your time and thanking 
you just thank you so much for giving us all this wonderful information. Um, man, you guys are doing so much for our, our, our veterans, our, our service members, and we, we really appreciate you on, on the front line for us while we are, you know, are overseas or, or doing it, what we can do to protect the country. Um, this means so much to our airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and Coasties. Uh, we wish you all the best, and thank you so much for taking care of us. I, we really do appreciate it. Well, Chief, it's an honor and a privilege. We've got we've got servicemen and women around the world in more than 140 countries, and our message to, is to them and to every one of you: we got your back, we got you six. So, uh, thank you for taking care of us and, and providing the service to our country that you provide. Awesome, awesome, and we're, we're glad the American Legion is in the foxhole with us. So we appreciate that. <laughs> Roger that. Battle buddies all around. Oh, oh yes, sir. <laughs> Well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and end the chat, and um, if you could stick around for a little bit, I'll get some information from you. But we definitely appreciate you. Thank you. Sure, Chief. Thanks for the invitation opportunity. Tremendous. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Right. Chief, chat out. <laughs>